Now you should be feeling a bit more confident about how to tell the good from the bad on the web. To help you, I have prepared a checklist in PDF format so you can download it and use it as a checklist. Remember the four questions. Who? Can you find who is responsible for the site? And do they have a reputation to maintain? Why do they have a website? To sell, educate, persuade you, or promote themselves? When? Is it a current site, or was it done in a burst of enthusiasm and then forgotten? What? Is it a balanced discussion or just someone's opinion? Has it been published before in another format, as a journal article perhaps? Can you find anything you know to be wrong? If you've used Wikipedia, see if you can verify the information elsewhere through the references they supply. Remember, someone might have changed the information just before you looked at it, before people who are minding the site have corrected it. You can always find scholarly information in subscription journal databases like ProQuest Business or EBSCO's Masterfile Premier, Social Index or Sinal via your library's website. A little trickier to access, but peer-reviewed and so thoroughly reliable and worth the effort. When you are doing research, you need good information. It is easy to fall into the trap of grabbing the first few bits of information you find on a Google search. Just remember, anyone can put anything on the web. You have to be the judge. And now you have the tools to become a critical web researcher.